Hi, for this video, what I want to do is talk to you about the difference between a well-defined set and a not well-defined set. Um, so it, what I have here, I have some examples of a well-defined set. Basically, a well-defined set is a set that anybody could clearly picture what that set contains. So for example, the set of months in a year would be a well-defined set because everybody knows what, a, what, um, what the months of the year are. Um, the set of even integers from 0 to 20, we could clearly write out 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, all the way up to 20. So these are what are known as a well-defined set. If it's something that you can easily see that anybody looking at it could come up with a description, then it's a well-defined set. A not well-defined set is a set that could change depending upon the information that you have or the person that you talk to. For example, um, here are some examples of not well-defined sets. The best three songs of 2018. Um, this is something that really depends on the person. It could be somebody that listens to country. You could come up with the best three country songs. Um, you could be talking about the best three pop songs or um, the best three songs somewhere in the world. So um, this depends on what um, people what kind of music they like. So anytime it says something like the best or the favorite, it could change from one to the next. So the favorite hamburger restaurants in a state. Well, it depends on the region that you're in. It depends on who you talk to. Like some people may say that it's one restaurant versus another restaurant. So um, a well-defined set is something that you could clearly write down all of the values in it based on the description. Um, a not well-defined set is something that could change depending upon who you ask. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are other topics you would like me to cover, please let me know that as well. And if you would consider subscribing, I would greatly appreciate it.